Now we're in the parking lot of a Walmart where we're spending our first night. Day two, running solo. See you later. Day two, New Jersey. Whew. I think I have my first visitor. That's promising. Carfield Police, Patrick Gloria. Hi, good evening. Um, my name is Sam. I'm running across the country. I was wondering if I could park my RV somewhere in Garfield for the night. Yeah, you can park at the Walmart. Okay, and, I, it, and that's free and I can just stay there? Yeah. Okay, amazing. Thank you. Cool. We got our first location to stay. Our first location, bro. Oh, wow. Dude, Daniel wants to get the dollar for every mile I run. It's amazing. What a legend. It's my little effort to cheer your daily and let you know that you're in my daily prayer. Day three, fell asleep a little late last night, so we're starting a little late, but we're going for 18 miles this morning. The worst part about this run. Oh my god. This is so scary. Yeah. Went along the highway here and it was fine. And then I got to this and I was actually here for 20 minutes. I was like, okay, do I go back? Do I call them? Because everyone's driving like yeah. 60, 70 miles an hour. I was just thinking to myself, like, do I even go? There was like, I had like 10 times where I could have gone, and I was like, I, I, no, too scared. So, a highway maybe is not a way to go. Day four, we got a little crew following us. Thanks to Kirsten, who stayed at her house last night. Hello. Shout out to the good O's. Let's see if we can um, get a glimpse of Sam. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Just How was finished. your run? It was great. Just finished uh, 19 miles. Aren't you wiped out? A little bit, yeah, a little tired. <laughs> It's only day five. <laughs> I was looking for a toilet and then I found a physical therapy. <laughs> so you gotta go check it out. The trick is keeping the heel down. Mm -hmm. right, keeping the heel down and that'll help stress the cap a little bit more. Well, maybe at this point it's probably all gonna be heels yeah. for you. So. The entire state of the side. <laughs> Twenty-five miles, baby. Made it to Pennsylvania. Woo! Feels good. Hey. Almost done with day six. Almost done. Halfway. Can't, can't wait to get to Bethlehem. Ah, my legs. Hurt? Yeah. How are you? Oh. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Know. This is very exciting. This yeah. is, oh, I can't imagine this is finally real. I mean, you're I kind of on, headed to work campus. The most magical thing is I'm at 97 miles right now. Oh my god. And there's three miles to campus. Oh wow, okay. Oh. So I'm marking the 100, 100 mile mark. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Perfect timing. So let me get a picture of you all first yeah. and then we'll send you on your way. <laughs> Sam, welcome home. Great to have you back on the call. Sam, when people take on a cause, most people will write letters, sometimes they visit some offices, sometimes they'll protest. When you take a cause, you embody it holistically and nationally in this case. 
Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming. This means uh, the world to me. I graduated here two months ago. This run is much bigger than just the run itself. I'm running ocean to ocean to raise awareness about plastic pollution and the effects that plastic has. What he is doing is so profound. I mean, every little step he takes is part of the reduction of plastic. I just reached the 100 mile mark here in Bethlehem, here in Lehigh University. So the first week was really focused on just getting adjusted to life on the road, um, getting my legs ready for this massive expedition. So we haven't really planned too many events in this first week, but we already have a lot of lined up coming up.